we have the repeat of the Aseris Adibros, this week's parsha. So I'd like to uh, focus on, uh, on a very uh, unusual original kind of a mahalach that we find in the Mabit. The Mabit, the Beis Elohim, I think it's Perik Tes Vov, writes that the Luchos, as we have them, there are different versions of the Luchos, but as we have them, the Benodim Lamokom and Benodim Lechavero, on the second side, five and five. The Benodim Lechavero, Lo Signo, Lo Sirtzok, Lo Isane, those, those Averis, are, there are less words in, those, in that listing. Because there are less words, the Mabit says there was a necessity to have them larger letters. I assume what he means is that since there was a ness that the Oisius held the Luchos, not the Luchos, the, the, the Oisius, and there is a law of parsimony that the Venishon doesn't expend a ness unless there's a necessity, then the ness yet works within somehow some complex boundaries of, of the teva. So though there was an S, and because there was an S, in fact, there was a necessity for the letters on the Ben Odom Lechavero side to be larger letters in order to maintain an equilibrium to keep the balance between the two sides of the Luchas. That's the way I understand the Beis Elohim. He says, in fact, that the lettering had to be larger. This, he says, also, was in order to communicate the message that the bigger challenge for Klal Yisrael through history would be the Ben Odom L'Chaveroi. The Ben Odom L'Chaveroi would then be larger lettering and it would be emphasized. It's emphasized. And because it's emphasized, uh, we could say that it is, uh, it's like in Yerushalayim, that uh, they built here uh, the early stages of development, of uh, redevelopment, re-inhabitation of, uh, of Yerushalayim. They had Chatzeros, Botevasha, Bechulu Bechulu, those, you can still find it in Shari Chesed, in Meir Shorem, in uh, Zichar Moshe. They had huge Kiddush Levona signs in the Chatzeros, outside, and it entered into the idiom of the language that large lettering would be called Kiddush Levona Oasis. It was at night, coming out for Kiddush Levona. So we would then have Kiddush Levona Yosef. They could be seen from far and seen at night as well. Says the Mabit, this is, they, were, they were Kiddush Levona Oasis, the Ben Odom Lechaveri, the man-man mitzvahs. And as a result, they were being emphasized. It's true that our tzibur as a tzibur excels compared to the normal dynamics of human psychology and sociology, how communities, how neighborhoods function, the, the, the chasodim, the mesiris nefesh, off the charts. The, the major hospitals, chesed organizations in, in Eretz Yisrael and around the world, the initiative taken by, by Shemitera mitzvahs, invariably. The listing of gemachim and every center, every urban center, every, 
uh, where, where there are, I told you, thousands and thousands of gemachim for every conceivable item and need. So we excel in that. But yet, we don't excel as much as we should in the, all of us, at all times, in the day-to-day interaction, and that would be the, the weak underbelly of Kladyasol in history. Yet, because this tzibur excels, so you have an ancillary, significant result as well. Dahainu is that the Maimir HaSinai Psukim in Yisoy teach us, and we're visiting, we're revisiting now the Aseres Adibros in Voeschanon, the there was a nest of Reim Asakailis. They saw the sounds. Reim Asakailis, Rashi says, that which is normally only heard was seen as well. So while today we can measure wavelengths of sounds, uh, it does, uh, it's an S that, the, that they at Maimed Hal Sinai saw the sounds per se, not the impact of the sounds or the symptom of the sounds, but they saw the sounds, whatever that means. Sound and sight. Sight, seeing has the advantage that I can see you down the block, can hear what you're saying. And that you can see panoramically. You can see a number of things simultaneously. Hearing is sequential. And hearing, you have to be close. So what can we expect, what can we ask of a, somebody, a young person, who wasn't close enough, his father didn't daven, his family didn't learn Torah, so he wasn't close enough to hear the sounds of Torah. But the Rebbein Shalom implanted in every Jew, every neshama that was there by Maimel Har Sinai, the koach of roi as they could see the sounds, the hainu, that they would be sensitive and alert in future generations, that they could see communities that have broken all the norms in terms of chesed, in terms of commitment to community, to family, to all of the needs of Klai Yisrael. Do we think, as the Mabit said, it had to be better, it should be better? Of course. But once you see that, that there is, with what is lacking, how much is there that excels, is extraordinary, is beyond compare, then, in fact, it's Omed Dal Sheni. So someone who was not brought up in the Dalet Amas of Halacha, he didn't hear the Kola Torah, but yet, because the Bein Odom Lechaveirei were written in Kiddush Levona Oasis, they were Huge, large, the lettering, meaning that that would be the challenge, and those who rise to the occasion, who meet the challenge, would excel in a way which is beyond compare. And such, somebody who is distant can yet see, and it acts as an invitation, as an invitation. Why is that? Why are these people so consistently so special in the Derek Sally? Chazal Nish writes in the Igras of the, uh, no, I think it's in the Imun Betochen. In the Imun Betochen, he writes that the Katzev butcher comes for a Shaila, about a Trefer, the Rav tells him, Look, there are different shitas about this particular question, and 
could be machmir, but you can be semech. There are enough mekilim. You could be semech on the kulas. Butcher chooses to be machmir, and he takes upon himself a loss because now he's going to have to sell this animal to a to an anjou. A few weeks later, he's back in front of the rub in the dinter with another Jew, with a dinter over a pittance, something much less than he forfeited earlier to be machmir. The rub pulls him aside and says, I understand you. You, you were machmir when you didn't have to be machmir, and now you're here to, in a litigation about such a small sum? To which he replied, you don't understand, Rebbe. I don't want him to have it. I don't want him to beat me. There's an awakening, a competitiveness, a confrontational sense of urgency when a man is being measured in relation to another man. He's being relation, measured in relation to the Rebbe Shalom. That's, he can forfeit, he can give, he can be Mason Nefesh. It's harder to be Mason Nefesh for somebody else. Again, we excel as a tzibur, but too often we have failed and we, we do fail. So the projection of Klayusel, this was anticipated, says the Mabit, that Klayusel were already being instructed they were told to be alert to this challenge. The Bein Odom Nechavera, the Isis, the lettering will have to be larger, imprinted boldly, greatly. Kiddush Levana Isis, through the Deiris. And that, in fact, will act as, a, as an invitation as a statement, step one. We're, and because we do succeed so often, so unusually, so in, when contrasted with other nations, other communities, then that will act as, a, as an invite. It will be a statement of discussion. Why? Why are these people so special? Why is this community so special in their chasodim? The tons of food, the millions of dollars that were spent, that are disseminated, dispersed by the Satma community, by other communities, by all the chesed organizations, uh, Yad Eliezer, Yad Sora, medical equipment, major hospitals, chesed. Chesed compounded, chesed with devotion, with excellence. And that will be an invitation and a statement to every so-called secular Jew to this needs to be checked out. How do you create such a community, such people, with such consistency. Human? Yes. Failing at times? Yes. But extraordinary, beyond compare. Especially now, during this time of the pandemic, and the COVID, that the, we see extraordinary things of chesed and caring devotion one to another. Shem yitain, that we should be in a soon able to talk about it in the past tense and amplify the chasodim for simchas and for moments of, of true connection that will reconfirm Kol Yisrael Arebem Zelazer 
essentially, Yeshua's a refuse for called Klai Yisrael.